Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're gonna to be cooking with Lion in today's episode. We are making what we call Judy beans. And it's basically classic oven baked beans. Uh, that's, that's what we're making. This is probably my second favorite, most favorite home cooked meal. Super delicious. But as you can see, there's a bunch of ingredients that we have to get ready today. So, got a lot of work to do. I do have rice ready. That's what I was doing, I was washing the rice, so now we gotta put the rice on. Okay, white rice is cooking, my absolute favorite. We clean? Yeah, because I already cleaned it before I started the rice. And so a bunch of stuff we have to get done. First up in the recipe, we have our pork and beans. We got to start cooking this up. This is the big can, 7.2 ounces. And then you guys are gonna be seeing another episode of Crying with Lion. Because we're gonna be crying today. All right, so we have to get our oven on high. Man, one week it stays, and then the next week I need my clip bar. Clip bar camera holder. So this one's gonna be our main cooking pot. This one here is to cook all the meats. dump the container of pork and beans inside. Save the can because we're gonna save it for our oils. I really wanted to use this one for the meat. I don't wanna switch. Okay. 
there we go. Got our ladles ready. So now let's get started with our ground beef. Eighty-five percent. It really doesn't matter. It just depends on how much batch you want inside. That was uh, two pounds of meat. Two pounds. Bring that over for a little bit of better view. Connor, how are you doing today? Sorry, no real like interaction right now. Cup and a third ketchup. And I do like to measure this stuff out. I don't like to just pour. Because then I never know like how much exactly we were putting in. So if it says a cup, cup and a quarter, I put in a cup and a quarter. Other than rice. That's when I had a little bit more. Where's the bacon? Coming up, coming up. Gotta cook the meat first. One cup, three quarters. And then also with today's episode, just because we're going to be waiting for a little bit for the beans to cook, we're going to be making some Hawaiian Sun Delicious Passion Orange. Passion Orange Drink Mix. Just about everyone knows our Passion Orange in Hawaii. It's the most popular drink, a dedicated, delicate blend of passion fruit and un orange flavors. It's a classic. Going to make a couple of those for drinks for tonight. Man, it's already getting hot. And it's not even hot outside. Glad we didn't have cooking with flying last week and 112. We just missed out on that. Cup and three quarters. Stir our meats. Now we have one third of a cup of mustard. Colonel Mustard in the study with the candlestick. I think that's all we need the cups for. I lied. I lied. Three quarters of cup molasses.
And then this should be the last ingredient we add for use in the cup. So we can go ahead and rinse this out. Tablespoon. We got Worcestershire, two tablespoons. I know I'm giving you guys all the secrets. This is the secret recipe. You're gonna be like, dang flying, this is bomb. Be like, oh, you gotta dedicate it to Judy, cause she makes the Judy beans. As you can tell, I'm kind of not wanting to cut that onion over there and the peppers. Connor's learning quickly, nah. You failing in cooking class too? Right. <laughs> I think it's that time. Let's see how much I cry. Because Connor makes me sad. So, actually, I do need the cup again. Cup three quarters, chopped onions. I'm not sure how much a cup and three quarters is. So, here comes the tears. Woo! <laughs> already, already. Somebody's gonna be a crier. I already can feel it, man. I already can feel it. I think I need to get some air flowing through this baby because <laughs> I'm gonna be crying. That's why we flying. Actually, the sun is not too bad. And then we we Hey, Connor. Easter egg, Connor, Easter egg. Don't shoot the onion. Actually, this might be enough, I hope. Sorry if I'm hooking you onto a different scene. I need a little bit more room. Okay, normally I'm crying by now. Normal when we're babies. <laughs> no tears. No tears. Okay, can 
look at the chat. Connor's laughing about the Easter egg. Sorry, onion down. Ain't gonna get attacked by the radish. Okay, I think this is gonna be enough. No, I need, I need the other part of the onion. I'm not really an onion guy. Usually in my hamburgers I say no onions or pickles. And I swear that's not a tear. <laughs> I swear, man, I swear I'm not crying. It's just so hot. Okay, now it's coming. So I gotta walk off the camera. Now I gotta stir. Meat is close. Another few more minutes of the meat. I am turning down the beans a little bit. About medium high. I do need beautiful cut onion cutting job, not really. So that's about a cup that we just cut. So the recipe calls for a cup and three quarters. Sorry, I can't do the amateur. If you're looking at amateur hour. So next week for Cooking with Lion, we're actually taking the week off as I will be going out of town for Friday and Saturday. So there'll probably be no Cooking with Lion. I was thinking of maybe doing a live stream where I'm going to, but I'm not sure how well like the connection's gonna be. So probably not. We'll just take the, the two days off come back strong. I'll still try to give you guys content for the nine o'clock hour. As right now, I'm preparing a bunch of videos. getting that work in like there's when I get in those times of it's like going to the gym too when I get in those times of I don't make YouTube videos and just do the streams I like I get tired of editing and stuff but then when I start doing it like I absolutely love video editing even though my edits are cheap and stuff but I like making just regular YouTube videos
take anything in there. Okay, I need my camera holder. And first, we have to dump our oil out. beef inside. Next up, since I have them ready, actually I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait on the onions because I do want to cook the bacon. The bacon and dogs. This place is a mess. Did I tell you guys how much I dislike onions? Okay, onions are ready. Let's clean this off. off to the side. Applewood smoked. That's just the type of bacon I like. I don't know if it's what's supposed to go inside. But it's what I got. It's what I got, man. inch wide pieces and we're basically just gonna brown them they don't need to be crispy some recipes say that it should be crispy Concentrating. You guys know I get quiet when I'm concentrating. As I got tears in my eyes, that's no surprise. Still do have this on high, so this can. We don't need it to be in here that long because it's going to cook inside the beans. But you know, we want to give it a little more texture. Sorry, Connor. Wolf Among Us Pig is in here. Your buddy, I don't even know his name, R.I.P. Mmm, 
love the smell of bacon. Calling. Yeah, I killed Colin. Actually, the butcher killed Colin. I'm just cooking Colin up. See, that's what happens when you don't want to go back to the farm. You get cooked up and go into my belly. Gonna have so much goodness in here. And actually on my description, I do have to adjust it because I forgot some stuff that we normally put inside. It's like a quick brown in. Angus beef. It is what's for dinner. But yeah, Connor, it's cooking. You're cooking, Colin. These about half inch pieces. Same thing. We'll cook these up for a little bit. Watching that bacon over there, guys. Is it ready yet? So normally, how I like to cook this is in the crock pot. Because you gotta cook everything, throw everything in it, and then slow cook it. Cameraman down, cameraman down. Drain the goodness, but we can keep the oils as we're gonna cook our next few ingredients in the oils. Then you get that bacon fat grease soaking up in the onions, the serranos. I don't know if that's a type of onion set we have. Okay, next up, let's get the hot dogs a cooking.
Same thing, we don't need to super cook it. Just cook it enough. Let's get in there. This would be the, oh yeah. Except I don't have that on here. So I can't play that for you guys. I think that's on my other scene. It's on my other scene. All right, three of these we gotta chop up, baby. You guys just watch that stuff. I'm gonna kind of keep an eye on it rather than you guys see me cry. Cause real men don't cry. Normally I put in two myself. I think my sister and my mom put in three. So that's why I'm cutting up three rather than two. Connor got any jokes? Another try to not to make me laugh challenge. Or you could tell me something sad and I could do a try not to cry challenge when I'm cutting these up. Why are you sounding so emotional, man? Check on the hot dogs. They about ready. Mmm. Little bit more. Little bit more. Probably when I finish this up, hot dogs will be ready. I can throw in the peppers, the onions together. Cook it up real quickly. And then basically after that, then we'll have like about a 15 minutes hangout session. That's where we'll make our drink of the day, Hawaiian Sun.
dogs are ready. Now we can throw all our onions inside, our peppers, crown these baby up. Start putting some of the ingredients away. This is the trash. The trash. Okay, three quarters of a cup brown sugar. Don't forget to throw that inside. Start cleaning up a little bit because basically now we're going to be waiting. Get ready for our next project that we're going to make.
That's when I dump these onions and peppers inside. We'll clean out this pot. And then we'll start our juices. I do like to wipe it out when I'm done cooking. So then it just makes the cleanup so much easier than just letting it sit in here. And then you have to like scrub all the excess stuff that you've cooked that you left in here. There we go. We get in there. Okay, I do need to go, I got the, put on the lid. We're gonna lower this down, medium temps. Let it soak up, the juiciness, the tastiness. There we go. Check on that in just a few. Okay, one of my favorite drinks in Hawaii, Hawaiian Sun. I like all their drinks. Um, I'm more of a strawberry guava. Hawaiian sun drinker, but passion orange is really good too. So let's go ahead and show you how to make it. It's super duper easy. Read the instructions in the back. Mix one quart, 32 ounces, with one package. Okay, so this is a three quart container, two quart container. So each quart, 32 ounces. So we do got 16 ounces of water per bottle. Man, I'm starting to cry. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be so sad. <laughs> Good thing you don't can't see me. I got major tears right now. Our first quart. Too bad I don't have like no B-roll going on. Cause I'll be showing you guys this in slow motion. I can't. One drink. You don't have to steal. Stealing's not nice. I would let you have some. And actually, actually, I want to put this next to it. I don't like to pour like all the water in at once. You need a mixer.
pour the rest inside, and then we'll fill the rest up with water. Because we're running out of room. Yep, somebody's just got to take a trip. Try to mix it up all the way to the top. like more peaches, but it's actually orange, I swear to you guys. Get our lid on top. A little shaky shaky. So refreshing. I need to pour myself some more. So yeah, if you can find the Hawaiian Sun wherever you guys live, I would suggest grabbing a packet. Sometimes they come in the cans. Sometimes they come in the cans. It's one of my favorite strawberry guava nectar. Very tasty. So yeah, if you're ever if you can find it where you live, go buy it. It's a really tasty drink. If you're in Hawaii, you know where to go. Get some Hawaiian sun. Then you'll be fun in the sun. I have no rhymes. I'm not a rapper.
So I do want to say probably about 10 more minutes of cooking. We can turn it down because it's starting to bubble. Oh boy, that looks so good. So, so good. All right, taking you guys around the place. You know what time it is. You know what time it is. Sweating time. Wash some dishes. Just cause when I'm done eating, I don't like to do dishes till later, later. And the later, later for me is usually like one, two o'clock in the morning. Cause I'm usually doing our live stream nine o'clock. And if you guys didn't know, we do daily live streams, 9 p.m. Make sure to come join us. We'll have some fun. Play some Kingdom Hearts 2 tonight. Hopefully progressing down on the story mode. Last night we did beat Avengers campaign mode. So I'm still waiting to see where my friend's at. I haven't texted him yet. I thought that was him who texted me, but it's not. still another at least one more day out from beating the game and then he could be then we could start co-oping missions together hey Susanna no kitties today I think Alley Cat's actually inside that was the last I saw of her But no, they don't, they don't help. How was your day, Susanna? Super smoky here. It's like coming close to like one of the worst days that I've seen. Last night there was seriously, I don't know if it was fog, but I know it was smoke. Like there's so much smoke, it looked like fog. And we still have countless days till the smoke goes away for our next chance. Supposedly there's another storm rolling through end of this week, but that's going to be in Northern California, Oregon. And then like the following week, we might get part of the storm, which hopefully will help. But right now we're on like four weeks now of, of smoke. What's it like cooking in this, these conditions? Why am I back door open? As you can see, somebody's glistening. So it does get, I mean, it's probably hot in my kitchen anyway. And then I close the front door so that I can kind of hold the voices, uh, my, my voice in. Because if I kick the door open, my voice travels and then we lose the reverberation. I mean, reverb's bad, but I'd rather have reverb than no sound and me having the scream. So I am kind of talking about it right now.
because we still got that stuff over there. How was my day so far? It was actually pretty good. I've been working on YouTube videos all last night, the night before, this afternoon. So I'm not sure when I'm going to actually post the next series, but it should be soon. Find you. Are you sad that you're almost done with the Wolf Among Us? Not really. I like completing games and then let's go on to the next. Like when series become 20 plus long. Like GTA, I think GTA was like 25. It's a lot to play in the game. Like I like the short five, five episodes, that's all we have to do. And you're done with the Telltale series. Still not sure what's gonna be on for the following Telltale series game. I do have a game, but I need to see if it's like Telltale series. It's what I hear. It's like just like it. We are encouraged to not use our big appliances during the day. Yep, we are on a energy crisis because, well not really, but yeah, because of the heat wave last week. And then we also have to watch our water usage. I don't know, you're gonna have to tune in next Sunday. So I'm thinking about, it's at least like another 10 minutes for our deliciousness to be ready. Because this doesn't look like ready just yet. It's there. But like how I like to tell is because like the juices will start going away. So they'll start evaporating. Like it's still kind of a little too thin. But it looks very delicious. And so, our next cooking with flying is going to be two weeks from now. What I'm thinking about doing is probably going to make some enchiladas for the next episode. Coming out with all, all the stuff I know how to cook, like really, really good. Not really, really good. I tried, I wanted to cook locomoco. I very rarely cook the locomoco. Um, same thing, chicken katsu. I cooked that a few times, but it's so tasty. So I wanted to introduce you guys to that stuff. But yeah, enchiladas, beef enchiladas, super bomb. I make them bomb diggity. So you guys gotta try out these recipes. Like any of these recipes you guys should try out. They're super simple. Like this one's more complicated as there's a lot of stuff you have to cook. So if you're not on top of your stuff, like you have to cook the beans and then while you're cooking the beans, cook the meat. Then after the meat, gotta cook the bacon. Then gotta cook the, what else was next? Hot dogs. Then your onions and then throw it inside and mix it up in a pot. Then you gotta cook everything up at once. So, really, really tasty. But yeah, if <laughs> you can't tell, it's super hot. But this is not as bad as the Locomoco week. That week I was just, I had to change my shirt because I was sweating so much. Tick tock, tick tock. So you guys can either put this in a bowl 
or on a plate. I eat everything on a plate. I really don't use, I use bowls for cereal. That's about it. But I really don't use bowls for anything else. I mean, goldfish, if I'm putting <laughs> something to eat off of and still I use plates too on that. But you can put it in a bowl. A lot of people prefer it to be in bowls. Same thing with like the curry. That's something you can put in the bowl. Long distance. Sorry, we're not on a professional set. <laughs> we're in a normal kitchen. Ah, my favorite. just because I don't want to burn the bleepity bleep out of my mouth. We'll let the we'll let the steam rise off. Uh, not quite yet, not quite yet. At least five more minutes. Because like you can see, still see, you can still see the Water still trying to evaporate in this, so it's not as thick just yet. So that's what we're really waiting on. It's for it to be a little bit more thicker. And this here is another food that's better the next day to have leftovers. With leftovers, mwah, super duper good. So yeah, no bell, unless you guys want to ring that notification bell for when we do go live. <laughs> Somebody's throwing in those quick hits. I never do, I, I don't know, I just, if you guys are going to like it, then you're going to like it. If you're going to subscribe, you're going to subscribe. So I don't need to remind you guys. So good. Here's another flavor. Lily Koi Passion. Passion fruit flavor, powder, drink mix with other natural flavors. Let's see what it says about the Lily Koi. Passion fruit or Lily Koi as it's known in Hawaii is an enticing tropical flavor. The sweet, unforgettable scent of the passion fruit has just the right amount of pucker. Can't help but salivate. We hope our drink mixes find our friends and ohana at home and abroad. Did I get booted out of the channel? No, you're still here. Unless if Connor's banning again on the ban hammer. But no, you shouldn't be banned off the channel. You should be here, I see you. I would never kick you. You too awesome. You helped me out <laughs> through Kingdom Hearts. Like I'll still be stuck on Kingdom Hearts 1, being pissed off. Where am I going? I need somebody to help me. Help direct. <laughs> What else do I have? Can ban the god. Okay, so these are called Judy beans, that's what we call them, but elsewhere it's called classic 
oven baked beans, classic oven baked beans. Let's go ahead and read you a little wiki about them. Baked beans has origin, baked beans has its origins in Native American cuisine. And the dishes is made from beans indigenous to the Americas. The dish was adopted and adapted by English colonists in New England in 17th century and through the aid of published 19th century cookbooks, the dish spread to other regions of the United States and into Canada. Today in the New England region of the United States, a variety of indigenous legumes, not sure what that is, are still used when prepared, pre preparing this dish in a restaurant or home. Let's see what legume is. A legume is a plant in the family Fabasillas, can't say that, or the fruit of the seed of a plant. Okay, so it's a plant. But that's basically where the baked beans come from. A little wiki action. Okay, we're getting ready. Because we're about to end this, because I only have so much talking content for me in this. And I've just ran out of everything. But we got our sriracha, the bomb, and make sure you shake this away from you. Sometimes it squirts you in the eye. <laughs> but I was like shaking it and it was left like slightly open in it. Got in her eye. Gotta tell on Julie. Okay, lowering down the heat to low. One little final stir. Then we'll scoop the goodness. Like it still could sit longer. That's why it's always better like the next day. Cause then it gets all the juices soaked up into everything. Where's all the bacon out, bro? <laughs> we lost all the bacon. Look at that, look at that! Bomba diggity! <clears throat> All right, you like that? An okay presentation? my face where's my face okay so we're gonna get a piece of bacon hot dog scoop of rice some beans in this action <laughs> oh, this man's gonna be burning my mouth mmm Wash it down. <clears throat> Wash it down with some Hawaiian sun. Man, I might grind on this whole plate right in front of you guys. Sorry, my hand was blocking. Already like quarter time.
super duper hungry as like I haven't been waking up till around two ish most days, two to three. Because I stay up till seven, eight. I think I was up to like eight or nine today. Mm. So I do like the sourdough breads to eat with it. I forgot. I just saw them. They were calling me off in the corner. So yeah, so I normally don't eat until around four or five o'clock is normally when I'm hungry. So right now it's 6.45 and we starving. But man, today it's on point. Like normal, I'm trying to cut the screen, the stream right now, but this is too good to not to share with you guys. Here, we need a bacon bit. Okay, ready guys, blow. Let's take a bite. It's all right, we can share, we can share. All right, guys, with that, this is going to end our episode for today. Thanks again, guys, for hanging out with me today and cooking another great meal with Cooking with Flying. Then next week, no Cooking with Flying. I'm going to be taking Friday, Saturday off. But I'm still going to be trying to give you guys some content, YouTube content for those days. Um, so you guys can enjoy still. And then maybe, I don't want to talk about it, but maybe I might be able to come on to live stream. It just depends on cell service and if I'm able to do the live stream where I'm at. But again, thanks again, guys, for hanging out with me. Hope you guys all have a great night, and hopefully we'll see you in a couple hours with some Kingdom Hearts 2. Bye, guys. It's going to be a set because i got to find the live stream in. Bye.